first question is for Karim. I'd like to know what your history in rivalry games is. Who was your uh, your big rival um, at your previous uh, school? It was uh, University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Um, we had a history with them. We were only an hour away from them and Green Bay, Milwaukee. But we were always the better team, so I don't remember losing to them at all. <laughs> Sean, this is your last of this uh, rivalry series. Um, I'm sure you want to make some great memories tomorrow, but what are some of the memories that have already taken place that you'll take with you from from this uh, incredible series you play with UC? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I mean, freshman year, uh, I don't know if you guys all remember, I'm sure it's uh, going to be going down in one of the best performances in Xavier history was uh, first D. Davis coming out and hit, I think it was like three or four big threes at the end of the game. Um, you know, and he wasn't generally the guy to go out and hit all those threes. So for him to be able to step up in a game like that was awesome to see, especially when I was a freshman. Um, and we got the win at their place, which is huge. And then uh, last year, even though we lost, Trey's performance was incredible. And, uh, you know, Edmonds dunk, I'm sure everybody sees that from my sophomore year. Um, that's one of the probably most replayed uh, dunks in, you know, on our highlight board. So. What do you make of uh, the matchup between the two teams? Yeah, uh, no, we're both very good teams. Uh, you know, I think that we've been challenged. I think that they've seen some good games. And I think it's going to be a good matchup, a good challenge for both of us. Hey, Sean, uh, for you guys, I mean, this is different. You've, you've won a lot in the last decade. But coming off a loss last year, uh, this is kind of your last chance to make your imprint on this game. How meaningful is this game for you on Saturday? Yeah, I mean, it's one of the biggest games of the year. Not only is it uh, meaningful just rivalry-wise, but um, it's meaningful for actual tournament uh, standings later on in the year. I mean, this is a, you know, I don't, I don't know what their exact ranking is, but it's a top 25 team again, second time, or second team this week. So it's uh, just huge implications for us as a team, uh, not only for personal reasons, but in the big picture for us. Karen, for you, you've kind of been um, thrust into this rivalry. I mean, the students are going to be camping out tonight, all morning. Um, do you get a sense of the hate that lives in this city for the other team and kind of vice versa? I do, yeah. Uh, I have a chance to go undefeated against them and have 100% uh, winning uh, against uh, UC, so I'm excited for that. But uh, we're just going to prepare for that game just like every other game. You know, uh, we had a scouting force over the last two days, and uh, it's just going to be another schedule in our game or game on our schedule. Your brother seems to know how to trash talk well against LeBron. Uh, do you trash talk much? Do you have that same kind of instinct in you? No, I don't do anything uh, outside of basketball, but I let my game do the talking for me. You've seen your brother with LeBron, though? Yes. Sean, because you were here last year, can you describe what a loss in this series feels like and what is the weight of that that you live with for a, for a whole year before you get a chance to redeem yourself? Yeah, uh, Coach Mack, I, I know we, we all feel it, obviously. I'm, you know, lost regardless of what team it is. It's, uh, it's not something that we look forward to or want to really experience uh, often. So when it does happen, it obviously sucks. But the good thing is we got a chance to play them again. Um, you know, it's not like a tournament game where you might not get to match up against a team again. Um, so that part of it, there's always that, you know, chance for redemption. But at the same time, we've been counting down the days. It was pretty much uh, the last thing that I left the locker room the other day was how many days it's been since what happened last year. So, Sean, last year uh, in the second half especially, uh, you guys got beat up a little on the offensive glass. What do you guys need to do to uh, kind of limit those offensive rebounds and uh, get after it on that end? Yeah, they're, they're a high motor, high energy team. So that's something that they pride themselves on. And uh, I think we pride ourselves on not giving up offensive rebounds. So it's just going to be a battle of wills at that point. This is for Sean. Gary Clark is probably their best all-around player. What is, it, what is it about him that makes him so difficult to cover, to defend, mm -hmm. and then to watch as you try to motiv uh, you know, maneuver against him? Yeah, uh, we've played a lot of good post players this year uh, between Baylor the, uh, the other day, Ethan Happ, Wisconsin. So we, we actually compare him a lot to some of those guys. Uh, he's a guy that they play through, um, which is not necessarily unusual uh, for post players, but it's something that you don't see as often, uh, especially in today's game. 
So him getting the ball that often and being able to use his body, use his size, uh, especially when he doesn't necessarily play their five, um, is something that they, I think, really look to exploit on a lot of teams. And uh, I think we're a bigger team, so hopefully we can kind of limit that. But at the same time, uh, you know, we want to make sure that we focus on him and make sure that he doesn't just get to do what they necessarily want to do. We want to keep him out of their comfort zone. Sean, how much inspiration are you going to draw from the manager's win last night? A lot, a lot. Uh, that was an incredible victory. It was fun to watch. Were you, were, uh, were you a coach? Did I see you on the uh, bench? I'm more, more, I tried to play the manager role. I actually sat behind the bench, so I was trying to get back to them. Oh, so who would you say was coaching? Uh, Ty? Yeah, Ty, Ty was the assistant, I believe. Uh, I don't know how involved he was in the coaching aspect. Do you think Chris Mack has to worry about Ty getting picked <laughs> off now to go grab a head coaching gig somewhere? I don't think there's anything he has to worry about. <laughs> <laughs>